Take me back from the start. How did you get involved in the Gem Master J case? Well, again, you know, I was called by certain celebrities, you know, that called me up and say, hey, look, Derek, you know, they knew my reputation. They knew what type of detective I was. And they said, look, you know, the police are handling this, this case a little bit too strong, and I think they're going to screw it up. They said, actually, they're going to fuck it up. <laughs> and they said, we need you to come help. We really do. And, you know, it was an honor that they chose me out of everybody to come and help. So I felt compelled to help, and I tried to at first. And don't get me wrong, it's always tough for a guy like me to go into a detective squad and talk to other detectives I don't know mm -hmm. because sometimes people become very territorial. Right. And then they want to know who you are and what's your reputation and why are you coming here to help me with my case? Why do you think you're so much better than me? And it's not even about that. It's about us working together. The bad part in the NYPD sometimes is you have this with people. There's a lot of uh, friction where guys don't work well with others, you know? But uh, I try to go in with an open mind and try to work with them. That's why I, I contacted uh, Rich Bellucci at the time. He was a lieutenant. Remember, they didn't even want to mention him either because they would have brought him in. And I had called Richie up and said, Richie, you know, we worked on the Freaky Ta case together. Hey, would you mind, you know, helping me out with this? Because I need you to be sort of a go-between for me to introduce myself to these detectives. Because detectives are very smart. They'll feel you out because they, they see who you are. For example, I was going into the Cold Case Squad years ago. And my partner, I don't forget, he said uh, they selected 40 detectives out of all the detectives in the entire city to go into the unit. I was one of them. But I was asked to go in. You know, I was asked to go in. And uh, my lieutenant wanted me to come with him, which was nice. You know, he asked me to come with him uh, to be in this unit. And my partner said, Derek, you're the only guy worthwhile that I can see maybe you and two other detectives that have good experience to be in that unit. Where are these other people coming from? They never worked a case like this in their life. Mm -hmm. And he's right, but the department wanted certain, they wanted to do a fresh look on cold cases and he wanted a different perspective from different detectives in different units. Now, it worked a little bit, but it didn't work completely. Uh, for example, and I'm not trying to brag about me, I'm not trying to say I'm better than anyone, but I solved a lot of cases. So I was one of the top guys in that unit, me and maybe three or four of the detectives out of 40. So, um, or maybe even five. So, you know, they knew who, who the good detectives were and who weren't. I mean, the chief of detectives was telling me one day, Derek, don't embarrass me. You go in that unit, you're going to solve a lot of cases. Because he knew how, my reputation. Mm -hmm. He knew how I was. I, I, I like to, when I get cases, I like to solve them. Right. I, I, I've always been that way. And then, uh, you know, you always need help. So I always know how to solicit help from other units like the FBI and the DEA and the ATF. You become friends with them and you bring them into your cases where they have a, a compelling interest as well because... It might be a case where they had a, a drug organization or a criminal robbery crew or something like that where they need your help and you need their help. So you work together as one and you solve cases. But like I said, in this case here, people don't work well with each other. And uh, right. with the JMJ case, like I said, I was asked to come in and help, which I did. And don't get me wrong, I'm not going to say every detective there liked me. I'm sure there was some resentment for me being there. But I was asked again to go there. So I did that. And the person that asked you was Eric B. And Eric B. was one of them, and so was A.J. Calloway. Oh, right, right. From 106 and Park, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know Eric was a good friend with JMJ. Yeah.